So this is going to be a quick guide how to add a multiple material slots to your single mesh. So this model was imported from online. I don't know where I got it from, but it's it's all connected. There's no single pillows and there's no separate materials over here. There's only one slot. So this is going to be a quick demo to just show you how to add materials to specific parts of this mesh without separating it into multiple meshes or leaving Unreal Engine. So we'll get into it really quick. To edit materials specifically, we come up to modeling mode up here. We come to attributes and then we come to edit materials. And once we're in edit materials, we're in a mode where we can paint on the mesh and select things and we can assign new materials to what we've painted. But for this case, we don't want to paint because we won't get really accurate edges and stuff like that. So what we're going to use instead is we're going to generate poly groups from the UV islands and then paint using the brush over here, using an all in group type brush. This will paint everything that's in the poly group. Let's say you have poly groups that look more like this. You won't be able to paint on them because you'll only be assigning active materials to each one of these squares. And because we want to have big, large islands to assign our materials to, you can try the different view modes in generate poly groups. But normally UV islands, if you've unwrapped your thing correctly, you'll be able to use UV islands and that will separate it into good panels that we can assign materials to. So the ones we've assigned the poly groups, we can click accept. And now we still have one material here, but we've got the poly groups. If we come to edit materials, and instead of the normal, the default brush, we come over and we use all in group brush. Now we should be able to just tap whatever we want. So let's say we click the blanket. So everything that's in the poly group will be completely selected. And next, we just come over to active material and we'll see there's only one possible active material at the minute because there's only one slot. So to add another slot, we can go add, use index one as none. Now we're going to assign index one, which is the second material, to the blanket. So we're going to click assign active material once that's done. Click accept. And you can see now we've assigned a second slot over here. The thing, And we can just repeat the process for all the other things. Edit materials. Tap the pillow all in group. Add material element. Assign the active material to the new index. Assign active material. Accept. And then we have a third material slot. So hopefully you gained something from this video. I'm going to be dropping loads more tips like this to do with Unreal Engine, DaVinci Resolve, and Blender. No one really talks about editing your materials in this sort of way, like adding slots to a specific mesh and using the modeling tools in Unreal to generate poly groups. But there'll be loads more stuff like this, I suppose, coming on the channel. So if you're interested, stay tuned and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.